Hello everyone, this is Abhinin from CG Artist Academy and I'm back with a new tutorial in Houdini and today we're gonna create this Yep, this effect So, uh, what I did is I achieved this I achieved this effect with the uh, Houdini volume, tra volume trails uh, technique Okay, so I'm gonna tell you how you can use and create this kind of uh, abstract kind of effect with Houdini volume trails so it's easy it's fast so let's create it so I am here in Houdini first of all I'm gonna create GeoNode volume trails so let's jump into this node and let's create a grid okay scale it down five and it should be around two maybe two point two five point five okay okay cool so yeah that's it next i need a subdivide node that's it i get two around yes that's good okay now we need scatter points So these are the scatter points on which the volume tails will form okay so so far so good and to be very frank it's a very simple setup and you can easily create anything from that mm. most of the effects you can get from here in like tail kind of things okay so next thing is we need to create a volume node so volume and one more no node we need is volume walk yes so let's connect this into this and in the volume tab we need vector and here in name well velocity okay and in the volume walk what we need is we need to create a two nodes here okay first is curl noise okay position to position next node is bind node we need to bind it okay here in the name we are using well so put it well and type is vector okay now connect it we are not getting the input value so we need to do a few steps click here and use this node to set parameter attributes in export when input is connected so let's connect here and now we get the volume Cool. Now we need to check its its scale should be match to the grid, the dimension of this. So let's do that. Uh, maybe around four, five, not five. Maybe three is good here because we need line should be getting outside. So for here also maybe three and here five let's make it six so it's almost there okay so next what we need is volume tail node so let's add that now let's add 
volume trail okay let's connect this and volume walk to this and let's see so now you can see that we have already got these volume lines volume trails so let's do something so with this trail length we can increase the length of it we can animate also that that's what i did in my uh, r d okay so now if you see closely these are very like uh, low resolution okay because they don't have enough points so what we can do is we can hit this uh, we can decrease this cfl value okay so let's decrease that and now you can see that it's now getting the proper curve for me so let's add volume trail node volume trail scatter connect to the first point and volume walk to the next one now you can see we are getting the volume lines and okay we are almost there with this okay so with this trail length we can animate this that's what i did in my r d okay and when i see it closer closely so i'm getting this low resolution feel on these curves so we can definitely fix that with this cfl value so decrease this value and while you are decreasing it now you can see it's now getting me the perfect curve okay so it depends on you okay how many segment you need because when you see that you can see how many segments we have added because when i'm increasing it so the points are getting far from each other so cool so for this now the value is 0 0.01 enough for me and yeah so what we can do is in this we can definitely increase the sequen uh, frequency and definitely we can do some whatever the values suits you for your for your trial thing okay for your r d so you can play with these settings okay with this yeah but there is an issue in this which is what i did is on my r d video okay let me show you as you can see it's all all the curves are on the plane they are not getting outside or uh, kind of um, they are placed on the surface of the geometry so how are we gonna do this okay so definitely by this we can't do this so let's disconnect this and place it over here and to do that what we need is volume velocity from surface okay now we have it and let's connect this and connect here it's gonna calculate as we can see now nothing is showing up so let's disconnect and add few things here one more thing we need is attribute wrang wrangler attribute wrangler node connect here okay go to here and just copy this diverger divergence and go to wrangler node wrangler node f at the rate divergence equals to one parasynthesis that's it and what we next we have to do is we need to go into this but we cannot add it right now so right click on that and allow editing content okay now go inside and here is a dot at go inside and yeah here here we need to add a gas turbulence gas turbulence okay and connect to this merge nothing is happening okay now go to your 
volume velocity copy this collusion or you can directly type also in this in here in the bind, binding tab there is a density field which is we need to change it to collusion so now you can see something is happening so let's go outside and we need to change few settings over here first of all voxel size to 0 0.03 okay and uh, let's again jump into it in the top net and now we can see something is happening here okay so uh, next we need to change few turbulent settings let's change the soil size to 1.5 let's get out to the main tree in volume trails now connect volume velocity to volume trails so now you can see uh, volume trails is connected to the volume velocity surface and we can see over here but these curves not looking like this so we need to change few values okay so first of all let's go to the attribute triangle and make it two okay now next go to your volume velocity from surface and here's the value in volume sizes 0 0.035 Cool. and in exterior band we just gonna hit around 4 so it's almost almost looking like that so it's all about how you play with the values and as you can see it's not looking like the earlier one okay it's completely on the grid on the surface so here you can like uh, add any surface like uh, face model or whatever the asset you want to like uh, create this kind of effect on okay so i guess that's pretty much it and next thing is if we're gonna render it so let's save it first Control s and go to render view and hit render so when I'm rendering it, it's giving me very thick lines. So I need to render it like a spline. Okay, like a very thin, thin uh, uh, polygons. Okay, there are many ways to do that. Okay, uh, you can apply her uh, wireframe. Okay, so, but definitely if you add a wireframe, definitely it will increase the mesh count, topology count. So yeah, definitely your render will go up. So what we can do is we can create a another node which is attribute attribute create okay so in this node here what we need is width okay now let's connect this And in the last in here value just uh, 0 0.005 okay so let's try to render it again and see it's working earlier it was this and now it's this so that's really nice and I guess this is it that's how I created this kind of effect this kind of uh, lines spline lines in Houdini okay and after that after creating this what I did is let me show you that what I did is I just created a raw alembic export and exported the um, these 
curves as an ABC file. And one more thing you can do if you want to, you can animate this. So what I did is I just animated these values like 0.252, 1.5. So that's why in my video it's looking like this, like animating. So that's it. I hope you guys like this tutorial and I'm sure you will subscribe my channel and uh, share with your friends and colleagues because I'm just trying to uh, share the knowledge which I have and which I am learning day to day. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you next time. Thank you.